Good morning. What an awesome and blessed day. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. Thank you for waking me up. Thank you for beckoning me out. Thank you for this moment. Thank you for your rescue, your recollection, and your resurrection. I thank you. I love you, Jesus. come to you today, Father, giving you all the honor, glory, and the praise. I thank you. I thank you for this moment. I thank you that you beckoned me out. I thank you for meeting me, for conversing with me. I ask today, Lord, that you be with your daughter, my wife, Camilla, and I ask that you guard, guide, protect, and keep her, that you uphold her, that you uplift her, that you hold her close to your bosom. Father, I ask that you give her health, wealth, wisdom, understanding of her importance and the way you see her in this world. That you give her strength today. And that you use her mightily for your kingdom. I ask, Lord, that you uphold our marriage, that you be our center strand cord, that we both keep our gaze upon you, Lord, and that you uh, uphold our marriage, use it for the furtherment of your kingdom. I ask that you guard, guide, and protect us, Lord. I ask, Lord, that you be with each and every one of your children that you've given us to steward. I ask that you be with Kyle Ray. I ask that you be with Eve Ann. I ask that you be with Matthew Ray, Keegan Dean, Kyla McKenzie Plant. I ask that you be with Chartreuse Remy Ray. I ask that you be with Ziamara, Say Lorraine. I ask that you be with Ziamara today, Lord. Guard, guide, and protect her. I ask that you be with Zephaniah Von Ray. I ask that you be with Kyler and Cannon, our grandchildren. I ask, Lord, that you be their protector, their God, their king. I ask that they come to know you as Father, as Lord, as friend, as protector, as Savior, as portion, as the bridegroom, as love itself life itself, as the breath we breathe. I thank you for them, Lord, and I ask that you be for them all that they need and that I and my wife be good stewards of them. Thank you for them. Father, I would lift up my earthly father, Larry, gun to you. I ask that you guard, guide, protect, and keep him, that you uphold him, that you give him strength, help, wealth, and wisdom today. And time at your bosom. <clears throat> I ask that you protect him with your mighty right hand. And that you give him longevity and understanding of his importance and his role in your kingdom. I ask that you be with my earthly mothers, Deborah Moore and Angie Gunn. I ask that you guard, guide, protect, and keep them. That you uphold them. That you give them longevity, help, wealth, and wisdom, peace, and rest at your bosom. I ask today, Lord, that you be with Sugar and Jason Bennett and Jace Bennett. I ask that you be with their household. I invite the Holy Spirit into every dark recess, that he be king and God, Jesus, that he be the mainstay. Thank you for them. I thank you for them. God, guide and protect them, Lord. I ask that you be with my brother, Kenneth Clark Jr. I ask that your blood run from his top of his head to the soles of his feet, Lord, I ask that you guard, guide, protect, and keep him. You give him healing, rest, peace. I ask that you be with Tina and Joseph today, Lord, that you guard, guide, protect, and keep them, that you uphold them, that you be with them, Lord. Be their portion. Give them rest and peace. Lord, today I ask that you be with Destin and Allie, Jaron and Kirsten, Kaylin, Matt, and Maverick, I ask that you be with 
Carlette, Desmond, JJ, and Zaira, Lord. I ask that you be with Joshua Gomez. I ask that you be with Pamela Juan. I ask that you be with Douglas and Constance. I ask that you be with Carl, Philip, Christopher, Hannah, Zach, Grayson, and Riley. I ask that you be with Serenity, Dee Dee, Bob. I ask that you be with James Ray, Margie, Stephen, and Jamie, Sterling, and their families, their babies. I ask that you be with Amber <coughs> and Roger and his wife and children. I ask that you be with Mark and his family. <coughs> I ask, Father God, that you be with each and every one of our extended families. <clears throat> Today, Lord, I ask that you be with all those that have said yes to your calling, the pastors, the leaders, the evangelists, those that are working day to day in regular jobs, but say yes to your call and what you've called us to do and say, I ask that you guard, guide, protect, and keep them, that you be their portion, that you not let them lack without understanding that it is for you. I ask today, Lord, that you be with Large Heart Ministries, that you guard, guide, protect, and keep that ministry, that you utilize us, that we be effective, an effective tool for your kingdom. And I ask that you uphold us, that you further that mission. And I ask that we hold that not in vain glory, but all glory be sent back to you, Father God, through the Son, Jesus Christ, with help from the Holy Spirit and the entire host of heaven, thank you for the saints across the world. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Father God. I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Holy Mother Mary. I thank you, entire host of heaven. I thank you, saints across the world. I thank you that today we have help. I thank you that today we are not alone. I thank you today that we have victory. I ask today, Father God, that you come to your people, those in need, those hurting, those backbiting, those that have all that they need but still need something. And they're searching, Lord, for all those that don't know you yet, have not said yes to your calling, have not came to your truth yet, but are seeking and calling and wondering. I ask, Lord, that you make a way today, a way in the darkness, a way in the chaos, a way in the pain. I ask, Father, that you make a way in the wilderness, in the desert, in the dry place, Lord. I ask that you make a way in the crushing place, in the threshing field, Lord. I ask in the place where the earthen vessels and the clay vessels are shattered. I ask for you, Lord. In the furnace, Lord, where you heat the steel and you pull it out and hammer it, Lord, I ask that it take the shape of what you will it. Today, Father, I ask that you give me the strength to go forward and lead your people. I ask for understanding and wisdom, and not for myself, but to rightly divide your word and to lead your people. As for you, I ask for a full portion of you, Lord, not a piece. I need all of you today. I need the Holy Spirit. I invite the Holy Spirit into this vessel, into this life. I give you my all, my soul. My, I give you credence to every portion of me. Let no space be unturned, no darkness left. Let light shine bright, the love light of Christ in every dark recess of my life. I thank you. I thank you for your conversion, your change. I thank you that you subdued me like a bird in the bush and caught me unaware. I thank, in my, I thank you, Lord Jesus, that in my time of need, when I could not even cry out, that you rescued me from the depths of my own sin and depravity. Thank you, Jesus, for change, for clarity, for conversion, for repentance. 
go forward today, Lord, and if possible, utilize anything that I am to further your purpose. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So I come to you today to give you this word. <clears throat> it's a simple word. So I've had my um, YouTube channel going on about seven months now, I think. Um, giving uh, what the Lord directs me to daily for a while now. And I just wanted to come on here and let you know that the algorithm to <laughs> Facebook is pretty funny and it's annoying at times. And so if you're out here trying to touch or find the algorithm to get numbers or find views or to push a cause or something like that, it's going to be very hard to navigate. So for me, it's been an awesome and blessing track because I'm not in for it for none of that. I'm just here to share what the Lord has for me daily and whenever he asks me to share. And so it takes kind of all the, you know, mundanity and the work out of it at times. But I want to state that it is kind of annoying to see the fact that whenever I make a video that's kind of half-hearted or lackadaisy or really isn't got a lot of weight to it get like 10,000 views or 2,000 views in an hour or something but then I post something that's very weighty and deep that the Lord puts on my heart and it gets like 40 or 12 or 6 views and I, I can't comprehend the insanity of this world today. Like, I really can't. The, uh, the, uh, the audacity that the enemy runs about laughing and playing with the goodness and cleanness of the life of a disciple is just insane to me. So today I just want to encourage all those out there, anybody that's hearing this, that if you're about your father's in heaven's business and you're doing what he's called you to do, no matter the numbers, no matter the views, no matter the likes, know this, heaven is applauding and rejoicing at the fact that one person had enough gall to stand up and invite the Holy Spirit in and to go to war against a whole host of hell. <laughs> I mean, God himself was looking to and fro the earth and couldn't find one for ye hundreds of years. So don't tell me and don't come to me and tell me that this isn't a war and that these numbers don't tell me something. They tell me that the world likes to laugh and they like to laugh at absurdity. They don't want the truth all the time. They don't want to be reminded that for the last X amount of years that they haven't been doing the work of the Lord or reading their Bible or just the simplicity of spending a moment in contemplation and meditation with Christ himself, with Father God. The notion of even inviting in an outward spirit that, that hasn't been living within them, that holy thing, the Holy Spirit, it has not even grasped or came to mind that maybe, just maybe they're wrong. At least yet. And so for us that have had that dark night of the soul who have already come through the depths of hell, I have to enter into the shadows and those places still on fire and torment. We must grab and put out the tormented soul, pull them out, bring them for him or take him to them. However, it works out for you and your calling. I know this. I know that I will continue to come and give of myself fully and transparent 
in the way that he's called me to, just so that at least one shall have a clear representation of exactly what Christ has called us to and from. And I thank you, Jesus, for the chance to be that example. And I thank you even greater that you're the example that I get to point to because me and myself and my example is utter mess before you. And so thank you for your proof and example, the written word, your blood shed on the cross, your life, your resurrection, and your blessed assurance that you shall surely come again. I thank you, Jesus. I love you. I thank you for all of this. And I ask to give me strength to suffer well in the days to come. And I do so in a way that brings you glory, that brings light to your people. And I need help, Lord. I need your Holy Spirit. I need your holy host of heaven and those that are still residing in this earth that are still yet to come home. There's so many people hurting and tormented, Lord. You created me a right spirit so I can bring you to them. If it is your will, let it be so. In Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, I ask that you strengthen the hedge of protection around the ministry, around our family. I ask that we're protected both from inside and out. I thank you for all that you are, and I ask that you guard, guide, and protect us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> so y'all go forward today in power and love with a sound mind and be effective not only ministry but in your love for community and family in your households be an ambassador for Christ no matter what even when those times feel as though you're not having any movement there's no change keep working it keep coming back Know that he is, was, and will be forever and ever. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all have an awesome and blessed day. Carpe diem, seize the day. Greatness requires more. I love you, Jesus. Amen.